Hello everyone, this is Jeremiah Hotman with um, another tutorial for the Tutorial Brothers. And today I'm going to be using Blender 2.61. Um, and I'm going to be showing you the cloud generator. Um, so right now, I'm just going to show you how to get to it. I'll hit, um, how to load it, user preferences. You'll get a um, window right here. I'll move it down so it's easier to view. Um, scroll down to the bottom. If you're using 2.61, it'll be all the way down here. Um, this is just to get this cloud generator deal here. So this was m much thanks to Nick Keyline, whoever that is. Um, I, I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly. Um, this is just an amazing little tool here to help easy innate this um, usually very difficult cause, difficult um, process because people used to just have to do this all in smoke simulator and it just get all really just tough and I've seen people try to do these clouds it's just horrible so I'm gonna go ahead and um, I've been using I don't ever uh, I've been using this already so I'll go ahead and check this up and I will go ahead and X out so now when you come down here you see generate cloud so I'll hit Z so you can see through it wireframe and you know you can do whatever you want I'll hit generate cloud now what you got here is nothing fancy hit F12 to see what you have animated there you know it's like I said it's nothing fancy it looks pretty junky right now so what we'll do is we'll mess with some of the uh, we'll mess with the editing mode to make it look a little bit better just a little bit though um, so what we have here is our bounding box so and then we have the smoke emitter the smoke particles and then the cube that we attached it to so what we'll do is we'll go tab into edit mode um, shift D to duplicate it hold on let's degenerate the cloud first by selecting the bounding box well first we'll get out of object mode select the bounding box degenerate our cloud so I'll go ahead and y-axis rotate along the z-axis just kind of make it your own cloud I guess um, just scale stuff down just uh, you know have fun with this make it look real nice uh, you know if you wanted to spend time on this it could take forever to, to uh, get a good looking cloud I'm just going to do a quick one here. Select this. Control L will select the whole box. Shift D will move it up the Z axis. Go one, rather, side view. Rotate it along the X axis. Um, I'll do that again. Rotate along the X axis 45 degrees. Enter. G, Z. Size, shift Z. That'll scale every. Right. Shift to Z. That'll scale everything but Z, the Z axis, so it'll keep it tight. Now I'll um, Control D duplicate that one. Rather Shift D duplicate that one along the X axis. Just bring it towards. Towards me. Well, I really brought it towards me, didn't I? All right. Zoom back in with the wheel mouse. Um, wheel on your mouse. Rotate that 45 degrees. G X G X. Is it not gonna work? For me? Okay. G X. Rather, I'm moving it towards me like usual. G Y. I mean, we we'll do this. Make sure it's stayed there. G Z. G. Just move the object. We'll go ahead and select that. Control L Shift. D, move it down here, see what we have. GX, GY, GX again. Put move it in there. Tab out of it, hit Z. You know, we got just a really random picture here. You know, it's, <laughs> like I said, nothing fancy yet. So we'll go ahead and generate our cloud again. And we will hit F12, and we'll see what we get. And you know, just toy with it, see what you like, see what looks really good, see what looks horrible. You know, mess around with it. I, 
this wasn't meant to be a specific tutorial. This was meant just to show you how this stuff works, how this cloud generator works. You know, so you see it looks, you know, it doesn't look too bad. It's actually looking all right. Um, I am going to show you guys one more thing, though, and it's to set up the background to look like it's actually set in a sky instead of in an animation studio. So that's generally what we got. We'll go ahead and close that out. And we'll degenerate. <laughs> go to the world, and we will hit... Um, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hit the select the light. Go to the light, and we will hit, select... Um, rather, we will go, and we will make it a sunlight. And now we'll go to the world, and we will make it a... Oh yeah, right, okay, check the sky right there, and you'll get a um, background that'll look like that. Alright, so, you know, mountain will give you a darker one as if, you know, you're on a mountain. Desert will give you this really bright one that kind of gives you a headache to look at. And classic just gives you the classic sky. I'm going to use mountain just for sake of, I like it. And, you know, we're not going to mess with much, we'll just turn this to, what, like, mm, point. Six five, you know. I don't want it to hurt the audience's eyes. Whoever's looking at this, and we'll hit Z to get our top view in this window. And kind of move the uh, let's rotate the sunshine so we get it. move it up this way. Rotate it. And we'll just put it where it looks really good. And, you know, just always, okay, I'm sorry. Go back, generate your cloud again. Select these, generate cloud, F12. So generally what you're doing is you're making the sun shine different areas. Right now it's shining at about 5 o'clock p.m. summertime, I'd say. That's what it looks like to me. Um, you know, so play around with the settings there. Um, see what looks good with the sunshine. If you put the sun behind the clouds, they look, they look a little bit darker, um, more sinister and menacing. Um, but, you know, play around with what you like, and um, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you. Oh, and please, favorite, like, and subscribe. And also comment down below if you want a specific tutorial done. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching.